It's Keisha Charmaine and I'm back and I'm home when I really should be at work but I'm not feeling well today at all you know lady stuff and it's really sad because it's really crippling for me sometimes and you know some months is worse than other months but like when you work a full-time job you can't just be taking time out all the time because of that you know what I mean one day I'll be working for myself so it will be completely up to me um, when I take off and when I work, um, you know, I've, I've had so many different, you know, doctor visits, like I've been to different doctors and everything, trying to get like different solutions. Nothing really worked for me, at least it never worked consistently. Um, let me know what you guys do. I know, I know I know that a lot of it has to do with like lifestyle. I don't eat the best. Yes, I know I'm skinny, but that doesn't mean that I eat that well. Like I'm not a vegetarian or a vegan or anything like that. Um, I have tried being a vegetarian one time or twice actually while I was in college though. Well, once <laughs> the first time I started, I was like a senior in high school and in, um and then it, it led into while I was a freshman in college, but it was really hard to keep up with because the food at college, like I didn't have the best options and I was losing a little bit of weight. And you know, I don't even have that much weight to be losing. So then I, I ended up becoming a meat eater again. And like the whole point of being like a vegetarian, I mean, to me is to eat healthier, but if all you're doing is eating french fries, you know, hold the burger, then that's not, that's not really doing anything. By the way, I sprayed my face with Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, and now I'm using, this foundation is not my color at all, but I feel like it, it works when I use the, like, the highlighting and contouring later on, but, um, right now I'm using Max Mineralize Foundation, and this is in, um, NW43, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really like this color on me, but what do you guys think? I mean, I feel like it looks okay in this lighting, but, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't really know. And I'm using a beauty blender to blend it out. So, yeah, um, I'm not really going anywhere, but I'm doing my makeup because makeup makes me feel good sometimes, and, um, I want to cheer myself up because I'm feeling bummed. Because, you know, it just that's what happens to me at that time of the month. I feel bummed and I realized I haven't made a video in a little while. At least I haven't filmed one. Like, I have uploaded a few days ago, but that was filmed maybe a week, over a week ago or about a week ago or so. And I like to, you know, I make frequent videos and keep having content on my channel. Yeah, it's been a while since I've even shown my bare face on my YouTube channel, I think. Yeah, it's been a, quite a while, but, um... I don't feel like I need it or anything like that. Like in my real life, I don't really wear makeup. I mean, I, I at most I wear eyebrows because I'm lacking in that department. And um, you know, like lip glosses and stuff like that, lipsticks. But for the most part, all I do is um, is eyebrows and maybe mascara. But when I come on YouTube and when I take photos and stuff, I, I like to wear makeup. And it's not because I feel any kind of way about how I look without it. It's just that's just what I like. And I realize, I, like, I know everyone has the, you know, the right to do whatever they want with their bodies. And I feel like in my video that I made fairly recently called My Skin Bleach Experience, so many people took that video the wrong way. Um, I mean... I know most people felt me though because I do have like 400 likes or so, 500 likes on that video, but I still have like a lot of dislikes. Like I have like maybe 80 dislikes and that's like a lot. <laughs> that's a lot, man. And I think that the, uh, this, I'm sure there's a couple reasons why people dislike the video. One, they didn't really understand what I was saying and two, 
they felt like I was attacking them or judging them. Even though I tried my best to make sure that like I didn't say anything offensive, but I still feel like people were offended. Um, I went back and forth with one girl, but I ended up deleting the comments because I just it just like kind of like broke my heart a little bit because like no matter what I said, she didn't understand me and it just didn't it wasn't connecting. I just ended up blocking her and deleting the comments. But um. Yeah, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check that video out and then come back to this video. Um, yeah, that video attracted a, like, a lot of non-blacks to leave comments. And, you know, typically my channel attracts blacks because, well, one, most of my videos are about locks with afro texture hair. You know, and two, I make makeup. I do, or I do makeup for black skin, I guess. I don't know. I shouldn't say that because I know I, I watch a few white girls on YouTube doing makeup, a few. But, um, yeah, I don't feel like they watch us so much. And, um, yeah, so I got a, I got a good amount of white feedback. And they, I feel like they understood what I was saying a lot. But, um, basically what I was really trying to say is that, like, people have such a hard time. People in general, but I was really talking about black people. And then I made some references towards white people towards the end of the video. But um, for the most part, yeah, um, people in general have a lot of issues with accepting their own beauty, their own natural beauty. They always feel like the grass is greener on the, on the other side. I, um, I raised the questions, some questions towards the end of the video saying something like, um, well, why do you feel like your natural skin is not beautiful and I said that after I mentioned how many you know how common it is for black women or um, women of other minorities um, how come they often or we often feel like we should be lighter to be prettier while like a lot of white people they want to tan their skin to be prettier and that's kind of what I was trying to get at. Like, how come we never are satisfied with what we have? It's always, you know, I wish I was more this or I wish I was less this. And, you know, I want to, you know, manipulate my body into a drastic measure, you know. We all, like, when it comes to, like, makeup, I know people can use that argument, oh, but you wear makeup, Keisha, what do you mean? You manipulate your natural beauty. Makeup is so temporary and it's so... You know what I mean? Like, people wear makeup. I can wash this off, like, and I will wash it off, like, <laughs> after I take some pictures and stuff. But, I mean, skin lightening um, and skin tanning and um, plastic surgery is so much more permanent. I mean, against, I mean, skin bleaching, if you stop using the products, they do fade. And, um... Tanning, tans fade as well eventually, but it's uh, like I don't know if, if, if people are gonna really under, understand me or agree with me, but I feel like it's just so much more drastic. Um, and I feel like it's problematic. And um, some people were saying, "Oh, that's not your business. What people do, whatever." Um, how about you don't worry about what's my business, and how about you really worry about what I'm saying? Because I feel like I'm really raising an important question. And, you know, we're in an age where it's been so much, it's been so normalized to get plastic surgery, you know, get your butt bigger, boobs bigger, um, get your waist snatched in and things like that. Um, and it's so normalized and so accepted. But I feel like it's so important to really understand why we feel like what we look like is not good enough. And for different people are going to have different reasons for that. And I really wanted, like, to have discussions about that in the, un in the comments of that video, which I did for, like, a lot of people who felt me. So I did have a lot of conversations. Um, some of the white people were referring to tanning and, you know, um, I think what well, one person, for example, said he was from, um, or she was from England. 
and you know that they I guess they don't really have too much sun there so their skin is all is very pale for the most part and they admire like American white skin because you know it's more tan and beautiful in their eyes and it's it is sad because it's not that's not how they look but they're admiring other people's beauty and they're not really accepting their own similar to other comments I received from from girls who said that they bleached their skin and or they used to or they thought they they should in the past for their experiences and it's, it's just really sad because um there, there are going to be different factors for everyone for instance I feel like the most blatant uh, blatantly obvious reason is because of the media the media plays such a large role and I, I I'm, I will never downplay how much I feel like the media affects us and like a lot of times people who argue oh no well parenting is more important well obviously parenting is more important but when parents don't you know address media as much I feel like they're really going to be missing out on something really triggering for them for their kids potentially um they can really fall short on their self-esteem because they're not really addressing the media's influence on our preferences. And yeah, like this, that was one comment that people were, that somebody was saying like in a opposition to my video. People have different preferences. Uh, who are you to judge? People have different preferences. Why are you making judgments on people's preferences and all that? You think you're so, you think you're better than everybody else, sister? Like, like, ugh. Like, really? Why, why, for one, why are you attacking me? Like, you come from, at least come from, like, a point of view or, like, a stance of understanding or at least trying to understand instead of trying to attack. But I realize everyone is not like me. Everyone doesn't use YouTube for growth. You know what I mean? Or like, you know, try to explore and learn different things. People are so close-minded often and that's that's really nothing I can do. I can't really do anything about that. But um, I'm going to keep... <laughs> I will never stop speaking my mind and voicing my opinions if I feel like it matters. But yeah, if I, come on. Like, preferences though? So... People have preferences to be racist. Is that what you're saying? I don't think that people just have preferences that lighter skin is better. Like in, in the minority community, I don't think people just prefer lighter skin. Like like it's a natural, you know, preference to have. Like you were born like that. Like I don't think that people are born any kind of way. Like I don't believe people are born gay. I don't believe people are born straight either. Like you're not you're babies. I don't believe babies have sexualities. Okay. That's something that you develop along the line, just like you develop preferences towards what you think is attractive and what you don't think is attractive. Why is it why is it that um here in America we over sexualize breasts? Breasts are not sexual organs, they're reproductive organs. Um is that right? I don't even know if that's right or if that made sense. I that, that scratch that. I don't know if that's right. Scratch that. But um <laughs> You know, in many cultures, like in Africa, for instance, you know, women, women walk around with their breasts out and they're not being harassed. You know what I mean? They're not being um, called a slut because their breasts are out. But in America, that's exactly what's going on. Why is that? It's because of our socialization. And... Um... And I believe that we're socialized to feel like, at least minority people, we're socialized to feel like light skin is, is the dominant, is better. And and I feel like that comes from our oppressors. You know, um, we tend to, it's just like, you know, when it comes to abusers, like we tend to be drawn to our abusers. Like we want their approval so bad for some reason. That's just the psychology of it. Um, we want their approval and we want, 
yeah, we want their acceptance. That's that's in my opinion. That's why I think that um, minority people want to look closer to white people. I'm not saying that they want to be white, but I think that that's something to consider. And white people want to look like the people that they oppress. I hold one second. Okay, well enough about that. I want to talk about something lighter. Um, what can I talk about? Yeah, so like, I said something lighter, but I'm about to talk about something a little stressful still, but it's more personal. Like, I've been so stressed lately, it's just that like I feel like nothing is quite where I want it to be. And I know, I'm, oh, I'm 24 years old, I'm, you know, who has it all right at 24? Not I, but I am, I'm, you know, working hard to get there. I really want to get there. And I'm very determined and I'm a very ambitious person. So, um, when things don't go quite how I planned it, it's very disheartening. But at the same time, it's not like anything is, you know bad like I feel incredibly blessed there's a lot of things going on right now for me that are amazing I'm just not quite where I, I would have wanted to be if you asked me five years ago I wouldn't have told you I was right here right now I would have been somewhere else and it's that's just that's just the nature of life you know but um yeah um I, I'm i working on a few projects that I can't wait until they're complete and like ready for me to share the, with the world. Um, hopefully by the end of the year this one project will be ready for me to you know share. But um, yeah so I have um, some new jewelry coming out on my, on my store soon. Hopefully or not hopefully, it, it will be available by the end of the month, before the end of the month most likely. And hope that you all support. And thanks for all of you who have supported in the past. Thank you for all of you who, who thank you in advance for those of you who will support. Um, yeah, but another ton of new subscribers. I have a ton of new subscribers. Thank you so much for tuning in and supporting me on this channel and supporting me in my other endeavors like my jewelry and my website, my Instagram, and just supporting me, believing in me. I appreciate you all. Oh man, I forgot. Oh, step. Oh, I hate when I put powder on my face before I put the before I put the um, concealer to define my brows, but I have to I have to do it after since I'm I forgot that part. Um, what else? Like, I don't want to share too much. I don't want to give too much away because I want things to be a surprise. So just stay tuned, okay? Right now I'm reading the book, Write It Down, Make It Happen. I'm finally reading it. I first heard about it through Sugar Free TV here on YouTube years ago. And I just never just invested in the book. I've had um, the book The Secret in my bookshelf for the longest. I guess my mom bought that. And I didn't really read it. I read a little bit of it, but I saw the documentary. And that, I felt like that was inspiring and enough, inspiring enough. So I never invested into this book, but I've been more into manifestation because I, I feel like I've, you know, been witness to the power of it. 
Um, oh, as well, um, Bronze Goddess as well. I've seen her videos talking about the book, and she as well had heard of it through Sugar Free TV, Shira, um, I believe. And yeah, now I'm reading it, and it's really motivating me more to manifest what it is that I want and feel like I deserve. And yeah, things are looking really good. And I want to become faster at applying makeup, but you know what? <laughs> I guess, you know, you, you can't be a natural at everything. Like I do love doing makeup, but it doesn't come that naturally for me. Like, listen, I have some old videos here on YouTube. I deleted most of them, or some of them at least. Me trying to do makeup, and girl, girl, I have improved, I'll tell you that. And maybe still slow, <laughs> but I'm doing so much better. And, yeah. Practice makes perfect. And plus, I'm talking through this video. I've never done makeup while I'm talking. I don't think on YouTube maybe I have I don't know but I feel like this is really slowing me down significantly but that's all right that's all right am I running out of things to talk about what should I talk about oh yeah like a lot of you ask me um questions very specific to your own hair situations and I typically just um you know, respond to you like if you send me an email I just email you back or if you DM me I just DM you back but um I'm realizing that I w it would be more beneficial if I were to make responses in YouTube videos I mean I will still respond to you personally but I feel like I should also make YouTube videos where I'm responding to those questions and concerns because I'll, I'll be benefiting a lot more people if I can I can never get my eyebrows like the same. I, I realize that one of my eyebrows is higher than the other one naturally. But like I'm drawing on my eyebrows. I should be able to make them the same. But they're not quite the same. But it's alright. It's alright. You know what? I'm just realizing just everything is all right. Everything is happening on divine timing. So it's all good. It's all good. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I remember a couple years ago, back when I probably had like, I don't know, a thousand or two thousand subscribers, I used to do a series called Colock Talk, I think, and that's when I would answer questions. I think I'm going to start doing that again now, and I stopped doing that because I'll stop getting questions like that, but now I'm getting a lot of questions. So I'm going to start doing that again. So if you have any questions about your locks and you want them answered in a Lock Talk video, Leave them below, leave them below, or you know, send me how you always send me emails, DMs, comments on Instagram. Um, try not to comment on old YouTube video videos because I'm, I'm getting a lot, a lot more comments lately, and I just, it's a little overwhelming. So yeah, just try to try to make leave your comments on more recent videos. Uh, what am I doing now? What's next? Um, oh. Um, yeah, it's kind of all over all over the place. Let me finish my cheeks and then I'll go to my eyes. I need new makeup brushes, but I just don't want to buy anything. Like, I'm telling you, I'm spending money here and there. I just want to save. Saving money is so hard. There's like, uh, whatever. I've never used this blush on my face before. I've used this on my mom's. Because it's so pink, like I feel like that's for lighter skin but it's not even like really picking up I got this from um Beautycon LA Laura Geller baked gelato vivid swirl blush rose water um oh yeah I wasn't even really telling you what makeup I was using if you want to know I was using the elf yellow set setting powder is it um high definition powder that's what I used under my eyes and chin and here and here. That's what that was. No, oh, see, I like blush. Like I like to see color on my cheeks. So like I'm gonna just keep. There we go. I'm gonna keep layering it on. I like that. Like it. It gives me that that nice youthful doll look. And I like that. Um. 
yeah um what else did i use that i did not mention oh i used um black opals foundation lipstick thing that's what this is um and it's in tan that's what i used under my eyebrows and to draw in my eyebrows i used um was it tnk you know those you know dollar lip liners eyeliners from the beauty supply store that's what i used for my eyebrows yeah it is um I mean, I'm just like, I don't know, I feel like I'm full of ideas, but I just never really know how to execute them. I look up ideas that I'm not going to throw out. I'm going to just put them on the show for now because I, I don't really know how to deal with it. But I just know that, um, you know, I will be attracted to whoever and whatever that will, you know, point me in the right direction for executing those things. Because, listen... I feel like I am destined for more and I'm not a quitter and I just don't have it in me I don't have it in me and I, I like my job I really do but there's nothing like working for yourself nothing like working for yourself and making your own money so support black business oh yeah what's that website called ourblackweb.com check them out that is a black business directory check it out like it has everything that you need well it's it's building it's still growing but it has so many different resources for you so many like the, i'll have the link below check it out and you can register your black business on there and check out other black businesses that you want to support and it's not just clothing and jewelry although yes we need those things too <laughs> but it's also um more practical things you know you can find some black dentists if you want a, a dentist you know and you want a, a black one check it out um things like that yeah i should have done this before i <laughs> did all of my face but um it's okay i'm gonna work it out i really don't know what i'm doing with my eyes i'm supposed to just figure it out as I go but I'm gonna use the Maybelline's blush nudes palette and this is a, gonna be a long video like I don't make videos like this for a reason because they're so long and I know people don't like to watch long videos y'all click out after five ten minutes but I know my ride or dies are gonna stay to the end and you know how I'm gonna know if who stayed to the end, I'm going to ask a question in the end. And I'm going to ask you to leave a comment so I can have an idea of who stayed to listen to me ramble. So, which one am I going to use? like it's so hard to be in your 20s like when you're at that building age and it's and it really sucks because you know you get forced into well most of us we get forced a lot of us get forced into trying to choose what we want to do for the rest of our lives at age 18 like why do I why should I be forced to go to college at 18 and choose a major and then that's gonna dictate so much of what happens to me in the next couple of years um and i feel like when i started school i mean i did really really well in in high school but i never really had much academic interest i mean i love to learn but i've never really and i'm not going to be able to be doing what i want to do 
working under anybody else. I'm just, no, it's, it's not. That's not. It's not me. And I remember talking to my king about this not too too long ago, and it's like. This transitionary age, our twenties, it's and it, it's so. What's the word? Influential in what happens in the rest of our lives. I guess every 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 day, every today, every now, for now and forevermore is really influential. In the rest of our lives, and we gotta like focus more. On the now. And making the most of the now because really all we do is have all we have is now you know I heard that the world is supposed to end on September 28th did you hear that I was like word it's September 28th man I don't get paid until the 30th that's unfortunate but you know guess we had a good run here on earth we had a good little run I'm just kidding like Wish people would stop with that foolishness. The earth is changing and it's adapting and it's... We're adapting, I should say, and it's not ending. It's just changing. You know? I feel like pretty soon we're going to change our understandings of the seasons because they're not the same they're just not they're not i'm using a clean brush to blend this out this looks kind of okay it's a little smoky situation i'm probably gonna do a nude lip yep i am But by the way, you know what's going on with my hair? It's in braids right now because I'm going to do a braid out. I'm going to do another Get Ready With Me video on Saturday. I'm doing a braid out because I want wavy hair in my shoot. I'm doing a photo shoot with my king. Well, he's shooting for me, I should say. Um, I'm entering a modern contest and I'll let you know if I win. Well, speaking of contests, I am in the running to to get um the best of luck awards but i'm in the running for favorite fan favorite um lock vlogger i don't know why that was so hard for me to come out like <laughs> yeah i'm in the running to to be favorite lock blogger so please vote for me i'll have the link below please vote for me um, I would really appreciate winning. Last year I won best lock color and this year I'm not nominated for that. So I guess my lock hair color game has, I don't know, it's just not popping like it used to be, I guess. Um, I'm putting some more of that elf bronzer in my crease. Um, yeah, I'm liking this so far. Should I put on lashes? No, I'm not doing that. <sighs> I'm not doing that. That's so hard. I hate putting on lashes. I love the way lashes look, but I hate putting them on because, hmm, I'm not good at it. Um, my actual eyelashes are so curly. They're so curly that it just, they just get in the way. They just get in the way. I'm going to put on some eyeliner now. <sighs> I'm putting on eyeliner. My eyelashes get in the way of me putting on eyeliner too. I'm using gel liner. I'll forget the brand. This is pretty old. It's about... Oh, it says... Okay, so there. L'Oreal. It's L'Oreal. That's all I got for you. And it's a, it's a gel liner. It's in black. And it came with the brush. And I have to pull my like my lid out 
because it helps me get past my lashes which like I said get in the way and I can never relax when I do <laughs> my liner if you guys could see my toes right now they're just all crumpled because I am tense Okay, mm. I'm gonna put some underneath too because I can never quite get the liner where it's supposed to be. So I get like that, you know, that line of bare skin. So I just tight line, I believe it's called. I just do that because it helps fill in the spots that I missed. And I still didn't quite get it, but I'm gonna just move on. I need to get back into like exercise. That's probably one of the main reasons why my, you know, you know, is so bad because I'm out of shape. I really want to get back into ballet. I love ballet so much. And yoga. I've been little by little getting back into yoga. Yoga makes me so sleepy. And you know, I, if I start doing my eyes in like a, a in a, and order like I think that it will make this my eyes if I start doing my face in an order it would be so much easier and I would get this done so much faster and I'm using like a brown brown um shadow you know, I never used to do anything to my bottom um, lid I used to always leave it bare but I realize it just brings so much to the face when you do both the top and bottom lid. I'm sorry if I'm so low energy, but I already explained to you guys, right? Um, and I think it's funny. Um, Token Dread Girl, she shouted me out a little while ago on her Instagram and she described me as bubbly. And I wouldn't be taken back. I'm like, bubbly? I'm not bubbly. Maybe maybe I've seen bubbly in my videos, but I'm, I'm really not. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm pretty chill. I mean, I can get, like, I could turn up, you know. And as of lately, since I've been so stressed out, like, I have been quick to temper, like, quick to anger. But I'm not normally like that. At least when I'm, I guess when I'm motion emotionally balanced, I don't get quick to temper. I'm pretty chill, like, for the most part. So, yeah. But thanks for a shout-out, girl. I'm not, yeah, I'm not bubbly. <laughs> I'm not... A lot of my friends have called me serious. Um, I think I am pretty serious. I am. Um, it's a real world out here, yo. It's, it's real. Right now, I'm putting on brown liner. And I'm purposely covering my mouth. Yeah, it's really dark. It looks kind of black, but it's not. And... Yeah, it just, it just popped into my head. I realized where I probably got the inspiration for this lip from. Um, I was watching Hollywood Divas. And I saw um, Countess Vaughn. She had, like, this really nice nude with, like, a really nice dark liner. And it was it looked so nice on her. And I'm going to try to recreate something like what I saw. Um... By the way, I want to put more content on my channel. 